do here? I'm here with who? Uh, Richard Carter. And what did you do yesterday at the LA Regional? Uh, I got first place with the Runic Stun. Let's go! Oh, no fire! <laughs> Um, but yeah. Uh, wow, my deck was fire though. Oh yes, heck yeah, better than fire, heck yeah. <laughs> um, what? Uh, before we get into the deck profile, you want to give any shout outs, by the way? Yeah, I'll give a shout out to the car I came with, uh, Kenny, Win, uh, Izzy, and Nick. Uh, Kenny ended up he ended up getting 18th, losing round two and nine. Oh dang! And then shout outs to. Health Points TCG, best store in Central California by far. And then shout outs to all the people in like Bakersfield, Central California, NorCal, uh, telling me I'd win the regional before I did. Heck yeah, manifestation, you already know what it is. All right, ready when you are, man. <clears throat> all right, here's the main deck. Uh, Tua Mono Wado. If you ever remember during like True Draco format, you know what this card does. It lets you freely play going first or second. And not deal with any interaction, basically. So that's why it's in here. And then for the draw engine, we have a three duality, two desires, uh, insane. Even though it's a runic deck, you have to play this card because it says draw two, uh, one day of peace, uh, pretty mandatory. A lot of people forget that uh, there's no battle damage, so they'll try and go for a game. And like, ah, oh, no, it happened like <laughs> two times over there. Wow. Uh, the one Morganite, just so it doesn't clog. You don't need this card. Uh, the card scanner. When, when you're resolving a loop with this card, you're just winning the game every time. Card Demise says draw three, but you don't have to use it all the time. And then that's it for the draw engine. All right, all right. And then for the Runic cards, we have the three Fountains. Have to play Terraforming because you need to open Fountain in this deck to like win every game. Because if you open Fountain... You're winning most of the time. Uh, the three more fountains. The three flashing. Three destruction. Three freezing. Three slumber. Uh, the one golden droplet, this really helps for the deck out. Because you're able to like start hitting them for fives every turn. The one dispelling, it's a name, but it, it kind of comes up sometimes. And then the smitting storm. This really helps for the deck out when they have a weird amount of cards in their deck. Just because it vanishes up to the amount of cards they control. And then that's it for the runic spells. And then for the floodgate part, uh, three skill drains. Card's okay. Uh, synchro zone, this card, even against like synchro decks like the synchro snake eyes, it's still really good. Because mm -hmm. they get like one swing in, which isn't that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. And then the one rivalry, one goes in, and one TC boo. And that is it for the main deck. And that's 40 cards? Yep, 40 cards clean. You're not I'm, I'm not playing any more than 40 in a runic. I need it to be as consistent as possible. Yes, sir. Um, and do you want the extra or side? Well, we can do the extra and then uh, the side afterwards. Yeah. Okay. And then for the extra, we have the SP. I, it, it comes in. When you need to like unclog your extra monster zone and or like play aggressively with no battle phase, but I never summoned it. Typhon again never summoned it. The two uh, Maximus targets never used them. And then for all the runic cards, uh, Slepnir never summoned it. Two Freki. Uh, this card's actually really important because in a grind game where your fountain gets ashed and you'll summon this during the battle phase, they're not going to want to kill it because if they kill it. It's just going to grab one of the runic spells in your graveyard back to your hand. So then you can keep like defending with it. So they're going to, it's almost like they're going to stop their battle phase. And then the two mute, or yeah, two munin for the life gain uh, kind of protects against Cosmic Cyclone. Three, uh, Jerry, this card is nuts. Like it be, not being able to be destroyed by card effects is extremely relevant. And mm -hmm. when they start playing really aggressively into your, uh, like trying to swing at you, you just keep summoning the Jerry's just to keep uh, poking at their board. Mm -hmm. Just try to like, I'll, uh, I'll grind them. When they have a, yeah, when they have like a, yeah, pretty much. And then when they have a princess in grave, you can summon this. And then the princess can't even pop this card. So they still have to keep swinging into it. Dang. Okay. And then the three Hugans. You only really summon this card. 
when they use like a duster or something to pop stuff. Otherwise, you're just summoning like Jerry's all the time. Gotcha. Well, you and then for the side deck, uh, yep. Ready when was that? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll say something afterwards. Uh, you can go with the side deck. Okay. Uh, three cosmic cyclone. It's for like mirrors because they seem to be getting a lot more popular. Just any kind of like deck that might play like floodgates or just easy side on cards for like your floodgates that aren't good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for the branded matchup, any fusion decks pretty much. It, it's good. The three judgments, uh, these come in when you go first every time, along with the borders, they replace the Amanos. And then the one duster and three spirit modes. Spirit mode is insane. Oh, wow. Dang. Like, this card is actually <laughs> cracked in this deck. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, would you change any uh, your list at all, or particular that you missed something, or not particular? Uh, in the main deck, no, there's no there's no changes that I would make. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really think of any changes I would even make to the deck, like because it works fine the way it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's just some cards that do kind of suck, like, uh, where is it, TC Boo? Mm -hmm. Kind of sucks, because I played against a lot of fire and, like, like, specifically these three floodgates. They're all, like, good and bad in their own way. Yeah. But you have to use them correctly, even in like the bad matchups. Like, uh, I I lost every single dice roll the entire day, so I never went first. Mm -hmm. So I had to play into every board, like all the snake eye boards. I would crack the boards game one, mm -hmm. and then I would have like a rivalry or goes in my hand, right? So I'll mm -hmm. set one, mm -hmm. and then at the start of my turn, they'll have like a savage on the board, and then the flamberg. Mm -hmm. I'll go flashing fire. I'll purposely pop the flamberg. Mm -hmm. And then they'll trigger Flamberg. I'll trigger my Fountain if I have it. And then I'll chain either the Gozen or the Rivalry. Now the Flamberg is not summoning anything and they're dark locked. Ooh, that or is... if I sphere mode them, they would be light locked. Ooh, that is a very big IQ play. Heck yeah. Uh, I, was... I, I did that twice. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it against, I think it was Cody Manabe and Ruben P. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, I, did, I just did it both against them, and it won me uh, both the games I did it. Wow, that's insane. Uh, and also the Spear mode, what, what made you want to play that over uh, Lava Golem? Well, Lava Golem, uh, I believe it's a special summon. So first of all, you can't like duality. Oh, correct. Uh, it's also a fire, so if you summon it, it gets princessed. Mm -hmm. And Spear mode just has better synergy. It covers more, because like... Decks that are only making two bodies, you could just you easily just clear that for free. Mm -hmm. But decks that make like three bodies, like every Snake Eye player I played against was doing a uh, Formula, Flamberg, and Savage with the IP in the back row. Mm -hmm. So easily the Sphere Mode clears the first three monsters, and they have the IP. I can deal with the IP freely with uh, Flashing Fire, with Freezing Curses, and then I just stun them the next turn. So I'm fine. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that does make sense. And plus, like, they, if they don't, like, respect, they just want to get punished by it because of that. <laughs> exactly. No, nobody, not a single person played around Sphere Mode. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Um, and also, uh, before you get going, do you remember uh, your matches um, since yesterday? Yeah, so round one was Rika. As I said before, I lost every single dice roll. Mm -hmm. And I won every single game one. Wow. So round one was Rika, round two was Branded, round three was Synchro Snake Eyes, round four was Branded again, round five was Flu, round six, I was at table one, my opponent just didn't show up. What? So Wait, yo, what? Uh, round, yeah, yeah, I know, that, we were all, like, there's a crowd of people like, hey, your opponent's not showing up, I'm like, oh, I'm sitting here waiting, maybe he knows what I'm playing. Yeah, but I, don't, I, I completely get it. People don't want to play against this deck. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. And then round seven, uh, Voiceless Voice. Round eight was Sean Pittman, uh, Synchro Snake Eyes. Round eight, or round eight was Sean Pittman. I think I said that. Round nine was Cody Manabe on Synchro Snake Eyes. And then round 10 was Ruben P on Synchro Snake Eyes with like uh, Board Breakers in the main deck. And then my only loss was to Cody in game three because I drew really bad. Mm -hmm. No fountain access. 
and my inspector border got imprimed. Dang, that's unfortunate. It happens. But hey, at least you're, you still made it squeezing on um, first place, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, four people I played uh, got into top eight. Yeah, yep, the, the world uh, uh, race off points. Yep, yep. But uh, yeah, we yep. to say. Like, oh, uh, the voiceless player I played, I think he got fifth place. Uh, Pittman got eighth. Cody got. Uh, seventh. Ruben got fourth, and Cody got second. So yeah, four of the people I played ended up getting in the top eight, which I guess boosted my tiebreakers a lot. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Really good players. But what to say? Congrats for again first place. Uh, hopefully to see you more um in the future. Will you be going to national this year? Uh yeah, actually, me and my friends only went like we played the deck for fun. We only went just so we can get our invites because we haven't really been going to like any events. Mm -hmm. So we just went to get our invites, and wow, he got 18th, and then I got first. Heck yeah! But what to say? Thank you for the deck profile. Your boy Cyberhorn Night Two is signing out. Peace.